To the weather we go, we had a glorious afternoon. Chief Meteorologist Scott Paget. sounds like more of that may be on the way. We are going to see more sunshine in the forecast tomorrow. We'll see some cloud cover also mixed in with that sun. And temperatures are going to be warmer than today ahead of a cold front that's in the forecast. You can see that the cold front is getting closer and some of the energy closer as clouds increase late in the day. But here's the time lapse from our Fort Worth Sky Cam through the afternoon hours, then going into the evening hours. There's that high level cloud cover trying to stream its way on in. But we won't see a completely cloudy day as we round out this week, heading closer to the weekend. You can see some of that cloud cover right now. On the satellite and radar combined, widening out the view, we're able to notice the cold fronts up in the panhandle. That's going to slide its way down to the southeast. The area of high pressure that was right overhead is now shifting off to the east just a bit, opening up the door for that cold front to move through. I don't expect to see a lot of rain with that frontal boundary. We'll have more about that coming up. But look at where we're sitting right now with our temperatures. Sitting at 72 degrees at DFW with our winds out of the south, southeast at 10. Uh, the dew point coming up a little bit as moisture return is happening, but still this dry air has been in place. That made for a great day today. It's making for a wonderful night tonight with our temperatures in the 60s to the low 70s across parts of North Texas. I do expect partly cloudy skies overnight and going into tomorrow because of warmer temperatures and stronger winds out of the south southwest before the front arrives, our allergens go up tomorrow. But then on Saturday, the fronts move through, those allergens drop down. So, Mom, I'm trying to help you out just a little bit more with these pressure systems. I had the headache today, so did you. Uh, but tomorrow, we're going to have a lot of sunshine mixed with clouds, as I said, and temperatures up to near 90 degrees before then we see the cool front move through. Small rain chances on the forecast, mainly the northeast sides of the Metroplex, 10 to 20 percent, and then off towards the north and the east just a bit more. So not widespread rain coverage as the cold front moves through. So here's that weekend forecast, 76 on Saturday, Sunday 80 degrees with mostly sunny skies on the way. So it's going to be a really great weekend. Now going into next week, another cold front's on the way and our rain chances start to go up on Tuesday to a 30 percent rain chance. So some scattered showers around with partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies. Cold front then slides its way through. Still a 40% rain chance going into Tuesday night. Then into Wednesday, high pressure builds back in. We might see a little bit of leftover rain in our southeast counties going into Wednesday morning. But then we start to see that area of high pressure really settle in. And what that means for you is temperatures warm up one more time. So 76 Saturday, Sunday, 80 degrees. By Tuesday, we're at 88. That's ahead of the cold front. With those winds out of the south, southwest, that slides through. We might hear a couple rumbles of thunder. And then Wednesday and Thursday, temperatures remaining in the low. 80s. So, Doug, I think that homemade ice cream that you were talking about is going to be a good thing here soon. <laughs> it was loud enough when they were making it at five o'clock. Scotty, thank you very much. My